Welcome back, it's Evanus57 here. I am back on Gears of War 4. This will be another achievement guide. Today I will be covering the achievement, Winning Wasn't Enough For You. Basically, this achievement is a little bit annoying to get. It is a secret achievement and part of the final 500 gamer score DLC pack for Gears of War 4. The easiest way to do this is in a private lobby. Simply go ahead and host a private versus match. Pick whatever character you like, whatever game mode. I recommend Warzone or Dodgeball and preferably a small map. Ideally, you will want to have either a second player with you or in my case, as you see, we are split screen and I have my second controller with me. And then when you are ready, go ahead and start the match. Now, the reason why I said do this in a private game is because it is far easier and faster to do this unless you happen to be playing with a coordinated group of people. Uh, in which case you can go ahead and get it in a regular multiplayer match. Now for this, what you have to do is actually have your snub pistol out at the end of the game. However, in order for the achievement to unlock, you need to have every single person on the winning team with their snub pistol out at the end of the game. It makes it very difficult to do in terms of running with random players or playing with bots. As you can see here, we have a simple 1v1 Warzone match. Nothing too crazy. And I did choose the map Raven Down. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to my pistol. There was a little bit of a discrepancy as to whether or not the final kill had to be with the pistol. If you're doing this by yourself, I don't believe the final kill does have to be with the pistol. You can use any weapon you want. It doesn't really matter. Just go ahead and get the final kill. And then make sure you have your pistol out before that splash screen pops up. You will then see the rare achievement winning wasn't everything or uh, was winning wasn't enough for you sorry I had to think of the name there for a second and if you want your second player or second controller uh, whatever it doesn't really matter I'll show you the other way of doing it but that other person can get the achievement in the next round because it is simply round based and it is not actually game based so as long as they get it for the round, you're fine. Switch to your snub pistol and make sure your snub pistol is out before the splash screen. That person should then unlock the achievement as well, as long as they're on the winning team. Uh, it's a little bit hard to show in split screen, but that is how it works. Uh, I'll do it again one last time, this time with the stub pistol out because I might not have actually done it quick enough there. That's why I recommend the final kill. Just go ahead and have your snub pistol out anyways. It makes it far faster to do than trying to do it with a regular weapon and switch to your snub pistol at the end. You can do an execution, by the way. It doesn't matter. Looking up, looking down with the snub pistol doesn't matter. But that's why I prefer to get the final kill with the pistol. As you've seen, it unlocked there simply because it was quicker. That's all it is. And then everybody on your team can get the achievement at the same time if you're playing with multiple people versus actually just playing with one person by yourself. So hopefully the video answered any questions that you have. If you do still have questions, feel free to ask. I will do my best to answer them for you. Hopefully the video helped. If it did, remember to like and share it. That greatly helps out with the searchability of videos here on YouTube. Until next time, stay frosty.